So a lot of students were asking me, how do they clean up their hemline to get it parallel to the floor? This hemline is clearly crooked and we do want our hem straight and parallel to the floor. In the classroom, we have some curved rulers that kind of help us because at the end of the day, it's not a straight line. It's a contoured shape, a curved shape, if you will. But even those rulers in the classroom, I feel like they're just a starting point because every body is totally different and we all have our own con contour shapes. But anyways, in CLO, I'm just gonna show you how to quickly do that. So there is a special tool. I'm gonna minimize my library, give me a little bit more room to see. And it's like a cool measuring tool. My computer's so small, so mine's hidden in one of these little arrows. I'm gonna click this one. Nope, that's not it. What about you? No, what about, oh dear, no, no, no. Cancel, cancel. Uh, what about you? Are you the one? Nope, what about you? You gotta find it. Nope, nope. Hmm, it's here somewhere. Did I click this one already? Yeah, that's not it. Click you. No. What about you? Uh, hmm. Oh, I pulled it out already. Sorry. <laughs> is this the right one? No, 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 no. That's not it either. Where is it? I will find it. Oh my goodness gracious. It is our garment. So right here, this is our avatar measuring tool. That confused me for a minute. That's not the one we want. We want um, the garment measuring tool. Maybe it's, oh my gosh, it's open. It's right in front of my face. Look at this. It's right over here. Do you see this? I'm going to hover over it. I like when the name comes up when you hover over it. Come on, buddy. Okay, it's not coming up today. Here it is. This is the tool that we want. It should look like this. Mine's normally hidden down here. I must have click dragged and pulled it out. I just want to remind you guys, you could if you hover over the line on top of it, your mouse should turn into like a cross and you can click and drag and pull stuff out if you need it. Um, that's what I actually did earlier and I forgot I did that and that's why I didn't know it was up here. But anyways, here it is. So it might be hidden on yours. That's why I'm making a big deal about this. Don't forget when you see a white arrow at the top left, that means it's an like a selection edit tool. So to actually draw our, our line that we need, you wanted to use the one underneath it. And you'll notice there's a little white triangle in the bottom right corner. That means there's more options. So you click and hold it. We have linear and we have circumference. In this case, we want the whole circle all the way around our model. So I'm gonna click that guy. And then it's kind of cool. See how it's like this weird like orbit thing? <laughs> um, so you just kind of click, where do you want her waist to be? I don't know, where do you want this thing to end? Like maybe right here? So I just clicked one time with my left mouse and I set it. So now to do anything with it, I need to go to that edit tool, the one with the little white arrow. And I'll go ahead and click it and make sure it's selected and I right click and these are my choices. So I can trace it as an internal line if I like and then make some adjustments on my 2D pattern or I can just cut it and have it fall to the floor. Um, some endpoints of my lines are not properly intersecting. Ooh, ooh. Would you continue by extending them? Sure. Okay, if that happens, maybe I should have made it um, an internal line to be honest with you. Let's see what happens. I'm just saying yes and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okie dokie. Yeah. So it did cut some of them, not all of them. Um, so maybe what I, here, well, one, I kind of want to just hit spacebar. <laughs> that will simulate my model and just see what happens. So it kind of fell off a little bit. It cut, yay. But it didn't cut in the front or the side over here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit space bar to get out of simulation. I'm gonna go back to that edit tool and I'm gonna select. Now again, the edit tool I selected was the edit tool for the measuring tape. It's not the edit tool like, you know, any other edit tool <laughs> or selection tool. Just make sure you're picking the right one. I'm gonna right click and you know what? Oops, that didn't quite work. Let me pan in. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna right click. This time I'm gonna say traces internal line. Then that way, this internal line, internal lines are like smart lines. You can't use them to make pattern pieces, but you can make use them to like do stuff to pattern pieces. So, um, you know, you can sew things internal lines. You can use them to cut. So in this case, I'm gonna cut. And then same with this guy. I'm gonna right click and I'll say cut. Okay. Honestly, that's kind of a first. Normally when I use this tool, it just goes all the way around and cuts it. Um, 
it must be something funny with my shape where it didn't cut it for whatever reason, but that's okay because I was able to then, you know, plan B, turn it into an internal line and then right click and cut the internal line. Okay, now I'm gonna hit spacebar to simulate. I don't know why, I just like watching it fall off of her. Okay, her hips are kind of big, so it's not falling all the way. But sometimes when I do this with skirts and stuff, it just falls to the ground. I'm like, yeah. But anyways, you probably want to delete it. So I'm going to hit my letter A tool and get rid of the bottom. And then now you can see uh, my line. And, you know, it is contoured a little bit. Um, and, you know, uh, it's not the prettiest line. So maybe instead of cutting it, I pro maybe it wouldn't have been a bad idea to make an internal line, kind of clean it up. Um, I can also, you know, hit my letter Z tool and kind of go in and clean it or, um, you know, one of these like kind of edit curvature or maybe I even do the smooth curvature to kind of clean it up. Let's see here if that will work. I don't want to change it too much because, um, you know, it is, it is, um, like an exact straight line. Click on the segment to create the reference line. Uh-oh. Oh shoot, I think I did this wrong. It always takes me a minute to use this. Ah, get out of here. Escape. Okay, let me try this again. Uh, click on a point. Click and drag on a point or a segment. Okay, there we go. Um, click and drag the reference line. I wanted this guy to be converted. Okay, and then now I guess I'm kind of redrawing this line. There we go. And, okay, click. Did it work? Oh yeah, it did, it worked, no, it just like reset. Um, there we go, and then, that's kind of my reference line. Oh dear. Oh, that wasn't that helpful. I just kind of drew a new internal line. That's not exactly what I want. Maybe what I can do is actually, oh, no. Take this guy and delete it. This is not gonna go well. It's not into that. No. Okay, I guess, um, oh, I know what I can do. I'm gonna go ahead and take my pattern piece, the pattern. I'm gonna make it longer. I'm gonna take this line, make sure I click the pattern, make that longer. And now that I like this pretty internal line, I'm gonna right click and say cut. That way it cut my pattern a little bit cleaner. That gray line is just a reference line from um, that measuring tool that I used. But see, I like how clean this line is compared to like how bumpy this one is and it's not even symmetrical, so. I kind of cleaned it up a little bit is all I did there. So I hope I didn't make this more complicated. Really the tool you want to use is this little measuring tape on a t-shirt um, and you have to click and hold it and I recommend using the circumference guy. That can mark your pattern to give you that perfect parallel line from the floor. Um, play around with it. it, it is really handy. And then you can hit number two just to kind of check and hold shift as you spin around and yeah, your hem is parallel. There you have it.